Hi everyone, it's Leanne. Um, if you go over to Kali Koo Studio, um, she has uh, a deck of cards there uh, that um, she's uh, asking people to join in to this little card um, project. And it's all about cards of, well, the deck of cards. Now she's put them in their suits, um, hearts, diamonds, spades and clubs. And then she's taken the queen out of each uh, one to get this perfect 12, I suppose. And it also adds up to 52 weeks in the year because you take the jokers out as well. Now I'm just in the ready to um, decorate these cards. Now she has stuck down masking tape on the whole queen, for instance, queen deck, uh, the queens. And... Uh, on the other side, she sandpapered and put gesso on. Now, I put two pieces of gesso on mine. Um, sorry, two coats of gesso. What am I talking about? Anyway, I'm going to use this one. I've used it a bit, but... Um, I'm just going to use it again. And I'm just going to go over every card with a little bit of it. Like that. Okay, now I'm not going to wipe my brush even. Um, I'm going to put some blue on as well. I'm just going to oh, squeeze some blue out if I can. That's going to be difficult. There we go. I've done it. Everyone stop looking. I've done it. Right, and I'm just going to go on with the blue as well. A little bit on each card, like that. Great. And then I'm going to give it a third colour, um, an accent colour, yellow. So I'm going to do that as well. There we go. And this is acrylic paint. And don't forget, there's two coats of gesso already on that. Let me just give that a little bit there because it's still whitish. I don't mind the white. There we go. Now I think that's ready. So I will be shortly back to dry that off. What I'm doing now is I'm stenciling over those cards. I've dried them. And I'm stenciling some flowers on it. So when I've finished, I will show you what it looks like. Okay, I've finished my stenciling and that's what it looks like. And I've got a cotton bud and all I've used is a bit of white paint. And I've made some dots. That's all I've done. I tried to use a stencil, but it didn't work. It was a bit smudgy. I'm not sure... Why? Probably because I had too much paint on it. But make sure I get some dots in every square. Um, just so it, it looks really nice. It's got that accent colour of white. Um, there we go. I think that'll do. Now we'll just give it a quick dry. Okay, now I'm going to pull them apart and I'll be right back with that. Okay, here's my cards. Now, um, let's just go through the process. Uh, it's been sanded, uh, gessoed, then I've put three colours on, some stenciling, and then I've just done a few um, little dots. And all I'm going to do now is edge them. And I thought I would edge it in this colour with a 
pastel, an oil pastel. Um, it is a, what colour is this? I uh, can't read very well at night. Uh, but it is a brown. Uh, there it is there. It's a brown. And all I'm going to do is test it. See if the colour matches it. And I'll just do it on the edge. Like that. And I like it. So that's what I'm going to do to all my cards. I'm going to edge it with this brown. And I might just smudge it back a little bit. Like that. And like that. There we go. It's not too bad. I can see it. Okay. And that's all I'm going to do, as you can see. Can you see the edging? Maybe you can't. It's there. It's faint, but I can see it. Um, if that's not enough colour for you, well then, keep doing it till you get the right colour you like and... Uh, which I will do. Just go down the edge line like that. That looks pretty good. Let's see if you can see that when I finish with it. Maybe it's best to go uh, vertical rather than 45. Ah, yes, I can see it now. Can you see it now? And that's all it looks like. There we go. It just gives a little bit of colour around the edge. Right, I suppose you would not want to see me do 12 cards. <laughs> so I'll go on to something else that Kylie is doing alongside uh, making these cards. She's... Um, got a book which she decorated and um, painted a nice cover on it, a memo book. Um, I've got plenty of books um, that probably don't need covering. Um, this one in particular I've got here. Um, it's just a pad, ruled pad like that. And um, the first word her prompt is relax now what what you do is you write an index of 1 to 52 cards that's 52 cards for the year uh, one a week and excuse me just for a minute and she's numbered them 1 to 52 which is 52 weeks and the first week uh, prompt or word is relax and that is what I'm going to do next and I'll just show you what she's done. 1 to 52, as you can see. See that? 1 to 52 cards. And then she's written the word down for week 1 again and called it relax. Now, um, um, she done some journaling and I've done some journaling, which is interesting because I don't usually put a lot of things down in journals so this is really new to me and thank you Kylie for making me do it because I need to do something now the first word is relax so what I've written is I think I can tell you um, I have no problems with that relax means being in a quiet place literally and in my mind as well two a long shower is so relaxing I love a long shower um, three is a treat all to myself. I mean, how often does a mother get treats just for themselves? Well, I always remember my mother putting a block of family chocolate in the freezer and back in the 70s. <laughs> and little old me found it and I started eating a piece at a time and mum caught me and she said, 
well, she didn't say too much except she screamed at me and went off, totally off the, you know, off her nutter about it. And she said, don't you know that I don't get special treats for myself? And that was just one I was trying to hide from everyone. And uh, I didn't understand it at the time. I thought it was selfish, but now I do. <laughs> and um, I think I was about 16, 15, 16. And um, now I really understand why that chocolate meant so much to her. A little treat to herself. All to herself. Anyway, number four is I like to watch a good movie. Uh, and let yourself go and get involved with the characters. I love doing that, watching movies. And then finding the characters. Um, I like whodunits because I always find in the first couple of uh, what do you call it, frames, that I find who the killer is out of those couple of frames. Unless they deliberately kill, uh, keep the killer to the end. But I usually find who done it very quickly. Um, that's how my mind works. So <laughs> watching a good movie and getting involved with those characters, is uh, I really enjoy that. And also I watch particularly The Ashes, the... Um, English and Australian Ashes, where they duel it out in a five-set test. And I really, really, really love that. That really relaxes me. I can watch that all day and listening to it, the humdrum and the background and all that. So week one, relax. They're the things I like to do, and I make sure I do some of them. So that was good journaling. Thank you, Kylie. I really enjoyed that. So she, her book, so if you go on her channel, you'll find her channel has um, exactly the book and how she did her little book, how she decorated the um, book herself, which was really nice to see. It turned out beautifully, Kylie. And um, join in. She'd love to have you join in. Um, um, and I enjoy her channel. So go over and have a look at her channel. Anyway, um, I think this is it, except I've got to decorate one of these cards and I've got to put the nice first week prompt on it, relax, and that's what I'm going to do. After I finish doing these cards with a bit of... Um, this oil pastel over the top I am then going to do the underside which is under here and I'm going to well I'll film that what's next because I'm joining in so I really really want to um, show you everything she does um, the process and the steps so there we go. I'll just do a few more because I'm nearly finished. I love these pastels. Okay. So I, I notice there's a lot of people doing these, doing Kylie's challenge for the year. Um, and I noticed that the first prompt for January for the Facebook group Art and Soul Studio is come up to. She's done the first year's one. I really, really enjoy those ones because um, it pulls me out of my box a bit. I have to think. Uh, and although, although I do a lot of thinking, it's not always about craft <laughs> or art. There's other things that I'm very, very busy with. Like if you want to come over to my channel and have a look at some of the renovations that's going on in a very old house we own up in the mountains. And uh, it's 90 years old. And it's been glued and... It's been, um, what's the word? It's been glued together, nailed together, put together, 
um, over the six years we've owned it and I think it's in badly repair now it needs to be um, renovated and so we've started doing that now we have to get a bathroom in with the laundry and I'm making the second bedroom into a bathroom laundry which is next to the main bedroom and um, I have to get some quotes for that so that's what we'll be doing soon and I'm looking forward to a new bathroom um, there we go look at that we've done them okay so the next step will be to uh, well Carly put some gesso on and then she uh, added little bits of paper and then she's put her lovely word relax on it and that's exactly what I'm going to do with one of these cards in the next video so until I see you next time please come over and join me and uh, go and have a look at Kylie Koo's studio thank you